I, I didn't understand why I felt so different and I, and I beat myself up over it. And it wasn't until later in life through a crazy roller coaster ride of emotions where I actually ended up playing the lead in the sequel to the film that changed my life as a little girl. Something that I got told over and over and over again would never be possible that I actually realized that, wow, this whole thing that I've been pushing down and beating myself up for of being different and thinking maybe different and not fitting in <laughs> was actually an amazing superpower and one that I believe we all have. I grew up a competitive gymnast and I was extremely unhappy and unhealthy in that lifestyle. Uh, and nobody ever taught me that like, hey, your thoughts matter and they affect the way you feel and they'll affect your your actions in life and your reactions and the opportunities you put yourself in. And so it wasn't until I actually broke my hand, had surgery, have six pins in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I was glad, glad that I did it. I felt this relief. Um, I was 14 years old and I'll never forget that moment when I shattered my hand, you know, and I remember feeling so happy and relieved that it happened. And because I didn't have to deal with the stress of gymnastics anymore. And um, as soon as I started to heal and it was time for me to actually go back to that life, I was just like every fiber of me like couldn't do it because I was also during gymnastics I was throwing up once a week uh, at least once a week because I was so nervous you know not because of an eating disorder but because I was so paralyzed by fear fear of not being enough fear of getting yelled at by my coaches fear of getting hurt I finally was like okay I just can't do this anymore I finally got the coach to tell my mom she was not happy with me <laughs> she did not want to talk to me for a while my friends didn't want to talk to me I didn't know who I was anymore and so it took this kind of breaking down of everything that I thought that I was to really realize so much greater than that. And I came across a book when I was 14 called As a Man Thinketh. That was my first book that was like, hey, your thoughts matter, you know? And I was like, well, how come nobody told me this when I was like five years old? That would have been really helpful <laughs> when I was going through this journey. And basically, you know, long story short, I put all those principles to practice and I went on this deep dive in this obsession with everything I could find on human behavior and personal development and self-growth and psychology ever since I was 14. Since that moment, I saw that. I read that book and I saw Center Stage, which was like my turning point. It was like a film that just changed things for me. I went from feeling so depressed and confused and afraid to feeling so lit up. And it, like that's what I want to do. And the crazy thing is the second I started acting and dancing, I felt so happy when you actually find the thing that lights you up. Mm -hmm. Not only how much harder you want to work at it, but your whole life gets better. And for anyone that's in a situation where they just don't like their job or their relationship or their anything, it, it traps you in this prison. And it's up to you, to us individually, to say, enough is enough. I will no longer tolerate this. 